Tay, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Benidorm season three, episode five, part one. Before we jump in, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh, he got! Nice cup of tea. Ooh, lovely. What have you put in that? Top of brandy. Steady your nerves. There's nothing wrong with my nerves. I just haven't slept. What do you worry? The claim has been put in. What claim? Claim for all the stuff we had next. We didn't have anything next. You've got a blackout, haven't you? A lot of victims of crime have that. It's all part of being in shock. When you see the list I've made out of all the things we have stolen, it'll all come flooding back to you. <laughs> How have you made a list when we've had nothing taken? People can't pinch what we haven't got. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Hey, McCarthy. I am he. I have your insurance claim for me. Oh, yeah? Is there uh, a problem? No, no problem at all. I just thought I'd let you know that we're entering it for the 2009 Booker Prize for Fiction. What are you talking about? I'm a victim of crime. Please state items you wish to claim for. Two cameras, two watches, one gold, one silver, three iPods, two mobile phones, and a laptop computer. Oh, my God. Did you forget to put down a speedboat, your set of darts and your bent bullies? <laughs> you might go on holiday with a spare pair of knickers and a package of Johnny's, but some of us do have actual possessions to take with us. Give us it here. What are you doing? Thank you. What Come did you on, Janice. What are you I would make on this one. Come on, Janice. This is free money. This is free money. He just ripped it off. I'd be upset, dude. I'd be upset. Thank you. What did you do that for? If your brains were dynamite, you couldn't blow your hat off. I feel you, big. I feel you. Oh, you poor thing. I hope you gave him a thump back. Well, it all happened so quickly. I didn't really have time to think. And is that when they tied you to the hot water pipe? Yeah. That's how they found that Terry Wogan, wasn't it? Kidnapped and chained to a radiator for five years. Terry, wait. Is that what they said to him? Fantastic <laughs> buggers. Is that what they said to him? Is that what they said to him? Fantastic oh buggers. It's not like it was going to go anywhere. I can't believe one of them was that girl who was with Martin. You don't think he had anything to do with it, do you? No. Did you not see him last night? She cleaned him out, apparently. Took his money, passport, the lot. But she had an accomplice. The one who roughed you up, wasn't it? Did you give the police a good description of him? Yeah, bloke in his 50s, lived in face, long, shaggy, sort of 70s hair, a Hawaiian shirt. How bizarre. That sounds just like the chap who took our mobile phones to fix them. Oh, yeah, we should keep an eye out for him today. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I suddenly feel very stupid. Suddenly? Oh my god. You got them both sorted? Yeah, Coolio's in the crash and Michael's in Dickie Donuts Kids Club. Who's Dickie Donuts? Supposed to be a bloke dressed as a donut, but he hadn't turned up today. I imagine why. What on oh, God's green earth? Where have you two been? We've been worried. Hey, have a look. It's Doris and Dickie Donuts. You do realise you're both late for work. <laughs> Where have you been? Madge was upset after the break-in, so I took her for a bit of a makeover. Who did it, Coco the Clown? What's done to your hair? Come on, Matt. Let's get the rest of the stuff upstairs. They're only jealous. You look like Bo Derrick. <laughs> Is that Bo Derrick? 
More like Bo Diddley. <laughs> Come on. Police? Look at it from my point of view. Yes, I risk my life tackling a gang of vicious armed robbers. But do I really want the hassle of being a local hero? A gang? I thought they said there was one bloke and that lassie was on holiday. No, there was three more. One of them was about five eight, dead quick, but like he had ninja training. You know, you're doing all that crouching tiger and dragon shit. Oh, my God. You know, spinning through the earth and that. Oh, heck. Well, I managed to check him out. But then one of the others, massive feather, looked a bit like that WWF wrestler, The Undertaker. Oh, he my took me God. from behind. So I elbowed him in the stomach. He went down. But then there was the other one. He looked a bit like that bloke from the Karate Kid. What was his name? Mr. Miyagi. He got me in headlock and started to strangle me. What did you do? What could I do? As I felt my life ebbing away, I managed to raise a hand and grab the side of his neck. Bulk and death grip. Jesus Christ. Chance. Oh, son, why didn't you tell me? Shit happens, doesn't it? I must oh say, you seem God. to have come out of it pretty unscathed. Yeah, well, most of it's internal bruising, you know. Just hurts a bit when I move. Oh, son, you are brave. Can I get you anything for the pain? I don't want to make a fuss. All right. Mind you, I wouldn't mind another lager. Oh, yes, I'll get it now. <laughs> anything else? Back to salt and vinegar crisps. And maybe a paper. You stay there, son. I'm going to make sure you don't lift a finger for the rest of this holiday. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Such a freaking liar, bro. My God. I can't believe you can't just loan me some money so I can at least get to Alicante and get another passport issued. I've had everything taken. We haven't got any money to lend you. You should think yourself lucky you're not getting lynched. It was your girlfriend that robbed everyone. She wasn't my girlfriend, she was just a friend. Some bloody friend. <gasps> Kate! 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 Oh my God! Go! Let's freaking go! I love it! I'm sorry I called you. I can't really remember what I said. I was rather drunk. You made absolutely no sense whatsoever. We got cut off and I didn't have a number to call you back on. You said you were in Benidorm and... Well, I put two and two together. But I can't believe you flew out here this morning. Martin, what was I supposed to do? You said you had no money. No passport, no mobile phone, nothing. I telephoned this place thinking you might have been idiotic enough to come back here, but of course the staff are about as useful as a chocolate teapot. You came all this way to help me. I've had absolutely no sleep. How have you been? Martin. We need to get you a passport. My God, I don't know how you dare show your face around here. I beg your pardon? You know what he means. After your mucky bit of scouse roof robbed us all blind, I wouldn't be surprised if you're part of the scam. I'm as much a victim of all this as you are, probably more so. I've got you, Sust. You hang around here for another day to make it look as if you had nothing to do with it. Oh but come God. tomorrow, you'll be on a yacht in the middle of the Med, divvying up the spoils. <laughs> I hardly think there'll be much to divvy up stealing from these people. <laughs> 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 Steal it from me. <laughs> you think there'll be much to divvy up stealing from these people? You keep your nose out. And another thing you... Well, 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 look who it is. 
I beg your pardon? Come on, Kate, let's go. He gets rid of wood, old slapper, and you come crawling back while the sheets are still warm. Now, forget it, man. Let's go get Wait a something. minute. Now, listen to me, old woman. Apart from the fact that I fail to see what any of this has to do with you, you obviously still think you can motorise yourself around this fly-blown cesspit, spitting venom like some kind of vicious, fire-damaged paraplegic. Oh. Well, let me assure you, if you come anywhere near me for the duration of my mercifully short trip here, so help me God, I will drag you off that council go-kart, rip off your head, and piss in your pipes. Dang! Do I make myself clear? Crystal. I'll take that as a yes. Master? God dang! Dang! Oh, that's what we've been missing. Yeah, we've been missing, Kate. We need it, Kate. Thank you for coming back, Kate. We, we can't do this without you. Uh, and Martin did proud. It's happy. Uh, you need to win her back, Martin. Whatever it takes, you need to win Kate back. You need Kate. I'll take that as a yes. Martin? The thing is, he doesn't want any publicity. That's why he hasn't come forward. So there are actually oh five of them. Yes, the two you know about and three more. One of them dressed like a ninja who kept twizzling round like in that film Dungeons and Dragons. Another oh really tall one called the Shirtlifter. This Shirtlifter. Who took him from behind. And the last one, who nearly killed him in an headlock. He looked like Robert Mugabe. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I will need to speak to your son about this. Oh, Egg. I knew I shouldn't have said anything. Don't worry. You did the right thing. I have some other statements to take, but please tell your son, Mr. Motby, that I will need to speak to him sometime today. Nobody serving. There was somebody here, but I think they've gone. You all right? Yeah. Oh, this, yeah. I caught the bloke and that last nicking stuff from our rooms last night. Right, that was you? Yeah. Yeah. Look, it wasn't me that caught him. No, oh, I was giving God. you a right pace, didn't <laughs> I mean, I might have killed him. Territory of your army training, you see. Oh, I don't my God. know my own strength. What about? Yeah. Did you know there's a spot on the side of your head, and if somebody punches you there hard enough, you die into the temple? It's be somebody serving. It's right there. Bang! One hit. Don't do that, mate. Literally, one hit. Bang! I'm asked you not to do that. No need to be frightened. I can do that and stop one millimetre away from your head. I'm not frightened. I've just asked you not to do it. I'm actually a qualified stuntman. I can oh do that a hundred times without actually touching you. Ah! Sorry, sorry. Are you all right? I did ask you not to do it. No, no, I'm fine. The thing about being a stuntman is you learn how to fall without hurting yourself. Uh, I'm gonna get two coffees from inside. Do you want another beer? Yes, please. Who's there? Hello there. Donald and Jacqueline Stewart. I'm sure we've met before. I don't think so. You look very familiar. I'm sorry, is there a reason you're still talking to me? Middlesbrough Swingers Association. What exactly do you want? We definitely know you from somewhere. It's on the tip of my tongue. Yes, I'm sure it often is. <laughs> Classy lady. I wouldn't mind getting to know her a bit better. Oh, yes. What did you have to go upsetting my mother like that for? 
What have I done now? Well, I don't think saying a new hairdo made her look like Stevie Wonder will have been the best compliment she's had today. I never said that. Yeah. It's poor diddly. Anyway, don't shoot the messenger. You should be trying to keep on Mel's good side if you want him to pay you for this week. I'm here. Eager to work. It's not my fault every time he has a business idea, it goes out, send up. If he fell into a barrel of tits, he'd come up sucking his thumb, that one. <laughs> if he fell into a barrel of tits, he'd come up sucking his thumb. <laughs> Bro, I love these little sayings that I've never heard before, but uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I gotta start using that. Who's that over there? Who? That woman, on her own, over there. Er, uh, somebody on holiday? She's on her own. Oh, bloody hell, pass me the phone, I'll ring Crime Stoppers. She looks a bit posh to be here. Want a drink? I've got one, thanks. Where are you going? I'm just gonna get a drink. Oh, you're a nosy bleeder. Look, we've had burglaries here, somebody giving me mother drugs. It was you that gave your mother drugs, who's got their eye on you? It won't be long. Oi, Quincy! Get us another beer. Do you want a drink, Tell? No, I'm all right, thanks. All right, darling. Okay. Didn't stop eating like this. Season sorted. Goodbye. You're really trying to be friendly. How's your grandmother? My nana is fine, thank you. Yeah. I've never seen a pensioner trying to body serve a karaoke audience before. It's quite a mad night. Yeah, well, unlike some people, she knows how to have a good time. I never really apologise for getting pissed on our date last year. I don't remember having a date with you. What? Well, that drink we had together. I'll tell you what I do remember. You. Ruining me nana's wedding day after nearly killing her husband by drop kicking him from a parachute. I didn't know about that one. Yeah. It can get quite irrational and touchy about things like that. Look, I just wanted to say I um Well, I know I messed up. But if you fancy another drink, you know. I think you're a great laugh. But well, you're dead sorted. You've got a beautiful little kid and you've got a brilliant smile and wouldn't be fancy you. Uh, I made a dick of myself again. Look, well, I'll see you around. Jack! Hey, Jeff. Yeah, tell, yeah, tell, look at that little smile creeping across the lip. Look at that look. You wanna you wanna that give Jeff another chance. Give him another chance, Tim. Oh, I'm happy inside. weather, isn't it? Very nice. Lovely sun. Yes, they tend to get that in Spain, especially in the summer. You look nice. Thank you. You're not hot with that cardio on? No, I'm fine. Is that your bag? Yes. I'd keep an eye on that if I were you. We've had some burglaries round here lately. Yes, I know. Yeah, I thought you looked a bit posh to be on holiday here. You're like, what's it name, aren't you? You're, um, primeval. I beg your pardon? Not primeval. Primordial? No. No, that's them dwarfs with big teeth, isn't it? Oh. What's her name? You know, the Queen. Prime suspect. I'm just waiting for someone. Oh. Don't you worry. I won't blow your cover. Have you got oh, your eye uh, on anyone in particular? Now, uh, don't tell me because I'm almost there. You're a friend of Rob the Knob. Northeast leather and rubber ball. 
I've absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Rob Titmus used to run an adult mail order business just outside Rimswell. No? Is this man a friend of yours? Not really. <laughs> Not really. For your information, I've had three people today say my hair is lovely. I said your hair was lovely. It was me that said it was nice. And what are you looking at? All dressed up like a dog's dinner. I think that may be a case of the pot calling the kettle black. Excuse me. I <laughs> think that may be a case of the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> Oh. Dinner. I think that may be a case of the pot calling the kettle black. Excuse me. That's my wife you're talking to. I'm not black. I've just got an Elsie tan, which is more than I can say for you. You look out, Beamick. Mother! Excuse me. That's it. Piss off before we get you slung out. You're not even wearing a wristband. Martin! Diana! What are you doing here? Guilford Sauna. Your friends are Bob Knutsford and Tutan Tammy. We didn't recognize you with your clothes on. It's been a few years, but I never forget a face. When you two clowns have quite finished, I would like to assure you that not only have we never met, as soon as I escape this odious freak circus, I shall do my very best to make sure that we never meet again. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause offense. You look very much like a friend of a friend. Mother, can we go inside and talk? Yes, thank you, darling. I have a car waiting. Where's my drink? I absolutely love it here. What you get if you cross Randy Crawford with Zelda from Terror Hawks? <laughs> I oh, know it's bad, sir. Why has she done her hair like that? It's not comic relief. No, is it? No. Oh, you missed all the best bits while you were. <laughs> it's not comic relief, is it? Sir. Why has she done her hair like that? It's not comic relief, is it? Oh, you missed all the best bits while you were asleep. We're the only people she hadn't had around with. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> right. I'm gonna go and snap one off. See you in a minute. Troy's phone. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, this is Troy's phone. Who's calling? I can hardly hear you, Troy. I know I said I didn't want to meet up again, but I changed my mind. I'm sorry for calling without texting first, but I really need to see you. What's Troy? This about? It's Jamie. Friends probably there and you can't talk, but if you can hear me, press a button. Troy? Troy, I didn't mean the things I said. I'm sorry. I want to be with you. I know it's a difficult situation, but I think about you all the time. So call me when you're on your own. Troy, please give me another chance. I know you love me. I love you too. It's funny because I know there's gonna be some sort of twist. I know there's gonna be a twist where like it's like a family member or something. Or, I don't know. It's gonna be a twist, but it's not. He's gonna make it to love him, but it's not gonna be a love. I just can't figure out the twist. Yet. I'll have to hang on for a minute. I think no, he's squeezing one out. Have you seen this? Half price voucher for Benidorm Palace. Fancy it tonight? Don't mind. Showgirls, acrobats, magic, and fun at Benidorm's premier show lounge. Oh yeah, just when I thought my life couldn't get more exciting. Uh, we gonna go ahead and hear part one right there. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. See what you can out for.